Hey gang, Kevin here, Back Totem Jack Home Repairs. And so here was our next segment. And what we're gonna do is we're going to wire in a light. And so as you can see here, what we did was, let me just adjust that because I'm the only cameraman. So as you can see, we had to add onto this junction box a lighting bracket. And what I do is I slide that tab in and then you can rotate this one like that. And then what you do is I typically tighten down my hinge one first and and then the final the hooked one, the locking one second and then once that's nice and snug in place then you'll see that we've taken care of all the other wires in the box and the only other wires that come out are the two and with the EMT and especially a lot of space in that box I like to give myself some room uh, with spare wire in case repairs need to be made in the future. Who knows, this wire could be here for 50 years. I mean, most houses usually do. People put it in and they leave it and set it and forget it. Um, and then uh, what you do here, and this is a little bit on me, um, is I'm, I'm a little anal retentive, just like I wrap my uh, outlets. I also wrap uh, my, I wrap the tops of my, uh, my light fixtures. And so, and I'll, and I'll take this off for now. I'll put it back on when I'm done. But I, I don't like to have where you can kind of get a screwdriver in or you prop this down and you have the exposed lines just in case someone bumps it with a screwdriver. I've blown apart enough uh, very expensive, you know, de decently expensive hand tools. So obviously there's no ground on a light. Um, some lights have a ground because on this side of the light they have like a three-prong uh, grounded outlet, but that's the only time you'll typically see it. It only touches the ground on the outlet. Um, you're assuming the box is grounded, uh, which we've already done, and so we're coming in post leg, uh, post light switch, uh, and the neutral for the separate circuit that this is on. So um, we connected those together, and for this, obviously same as your outlets. Uh, you got the gold screw takes the hot and the silver screw takes the neutral and you just slide them in and compress them down and you're ready to go. And then I like to run a strip of tape behind the wires. Um, kind of hard for me to do that right here. Um, set of wires right here and I put another set of tape there. And that's just maybe something that I do uh, that other people don't. And as you can see, uh, this, the light comes with two screws. You put them on this bracket you have to buy. If you're using a four by four box, if you're using a standard octagon light box, um, you just take the screws and put them into the two ports. Um, so that said, we're going to wire, I'm gonna slide our wire up in there. And obviously our Wire nuts are all connected, and nice and nice and taut, and um, then there we go. Boy, and then all we have to do is I have to knock those ports out on that light, and then obviously then you just I'll just show it here with this one. You just well, it's kind of difficult. There, you twist it in and you screw it up and you line them up on both sides. Obviously, I picked the wrong hole just to show you here. Um, and what we'll do is we'll snap a photo of the final product. And essentially, you're just tightening that right up to the box. Um, so that's lighting 101. Um, that's putting in your light, your light socket. Um, not too much to it, pretty basic stuff. Obviously, you might not be putting an EMT conduit. You might be coming off an old box that's recessed into the wall or what have you. And there's some tricks to the trade to some of those things, and we might get into those in future videos. So thanks, gang, and we'll see you on the next time.